It's the leader. He's the wizard. He's forcing the mouth open. Well, stop him. Kill him or something. My dagger is gone. You kill him. Not me. It's bad luck to kill a wizard. Wait. There's a better way to take care of a wizard. Welcome to As Garfield Intended. With your host, the Ebon Hand. Hello, everybody. Uh, today, we're going to sit down with our buddy Mike Franz from um, Old Order, Old School. Um, talk some anti, talk about his upcoming format, uh, some of the reasons he's a legend uh, amongst us. Um, just some uh, good conversation with, uh, with him and Stephen and myself. Hope you guys enjoy it. Today's podcast is brought to you by yours as Fashion Boutique and their complete line of fashion accessories. Glasses of Urza not only look cool, but give you magical powers. But if you want to get the bitches like Gandalf in the Shire on the 4th of July, you will want to pick up some yours as sunglasses. Wear your glasses with a matching yours as miter for the ultimate sex machine look. Use offer code CHALICE at checkout for a sample Ashnid's body spray and lubricant. All right, Mike. Well, welcome to our podcast. I know you, you did the big boys, now you can do the small one. You were you were on <laughs> the, the infamous All Tings. They have like 20 listeners. We only have like six, so they're way bigger than us. It's uh, But we appreciate the, having you on here. So. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Brian. Yeah, not a problem. So, um, I was a little disappointed in no GloryCon this year. So we did, that was one of our favorite events from last year. And you said you're going to do that maybe every, every other year now is a thought. Maybe you'll do it, bring it back next year. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll try for every other year. Keep okay. things fresh and do fun things. <clears throat> try unique formats. <laughs> Well, I have been looking at this uh, Shuffle Cut Anti website, and um, I realized we got to do a better job at naming our birds, because I just picked <laughs> up a couple from, from Jason the other day, and they've been around. Now, this is the, the Shuffle Cut Anti page, but, you know, they got Bertha and Melinda and stuff. I feel like I, we really got to start naming ours a little better, because um, we had, uh, let me see, what was our bird that we had? On on the bird log side, um, once you deem you know a name, they can't reproduce the name. Yeah, so we do have Jewel Bird of the Cosmos, I think, is what this one is. <laughs> um, and little Jason was able to add a penis to it, but then we have this other gem. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a great one, but it has no name. Like this this thing has been around, man. Says gives no fucks, bro. At the bottom, it's it's smoking a joint. It's got an eye patch. It's like this thing's passed hands several times, and no one's named it. So, um, I really think this year is going to be the name of, of the day of or the year of naming our birds better, so that uh, we see where they go. Well, the next person that loses that bird gets to name it, right? Well, I'm currently in possession of it, so I've got it back. So I am. I'm. If you got name suggestions, let me know. I've, I've got a few, and I'll try to come up with something unique. Um, now we're cheap asses, so we use the the white border stuff. But uh, you can make them cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, we went to the cabin. We made those. Uh, we made gold border, gold bordered ones. Oh, okay. So they were even cheaper yet. <laughs> well, so I still have. I don't know. I've lost so many of them. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. So this is my stack of uh, my stack of birds yet to be distributed. You're ready to go. Well, uh, Jason had bought a collection, and everything it was a weird collection. Everything was like hundred or hundred fifty of like every random card. You had like a hundred, you know, revised farmsteads or whatever. And I said, "Well, give you I get a jewel bird. You had this big stack. I said, "I'll take them all." He's like, "What?" Do what with like a hundred and some jewel birds I'm like no nah, i'll figure it out and i've dwindled <laughs> down probably through half that already because i lose a lot um, 
<laughs> but but they're not leaving without names from here on out. I'm going to make that vow here. We're going to start naming our birds and uh, and hang with the cool guys. You restrict bird, right? Say that again? You restrict bird, don't you? Yes. Yeah, one bird. Um, <laughs> you have your rules posted somewhere? Yeah, probably. Um, I have a Discord. The, the big ones, I mean, it's just kind of the way we like to play. Let's see here. Share real quick. And so, yeah, so we were playing Alpha through Alliances. So that gives you Homelands, Ice Age, and Alliances, which really fixes things up a fair amount. And then we do any, you know, gold bordered uh, time shifted anything like that we we just banned mind twist completely and then we got quite a list of restricted so like factories restricted um strip mines restricted um you know the the basic stuff too and then um jeweled birds restricted it's pretty well rounded though it made for some really good games last year yeah, it's that's something like Jason. I just go because he lives close to me. I run over there and just play. And man, it's just fun. I mean, it's, so many games are really close and good, and um, you don't have the blowouts. No one's really playing, you know, the expensive cards. Honestly, for a minute, I had an ancestor one there, but took it back out. And then we made our own boxes. I did just get the uh, the red and white one printed, so we'll have those for our upcoming event. And so. We lose and win those back and forth a few times. So we've been adding a few cards to get the power level up, but uh, you know, most of the time, I, the higher end cards are Necropotence or Thawing Glaciers or something like that. I mean, not much stuff over 25, 30 bucks a card or something's kind of the higher end. You I know, think I got like three Berserks in one. That's like the. Yeah, Berserk's a pretty higher end one. But and then you know if you're a slave to value like Eric, he's always finding the beat up gold border city of brass on eBay for his seventy five cents or whatever. Like yeah, he has the bargain. I mean, you can build some bargain decks and and potentially win something from us morons that are playing a little better cards. You know, that was my um, thing, man. I, I built like two or three decks that I'm you know familiar and comfortable with, and I was like, I'm gonna just alter every card in it, and hopefully people will want to play to try to win those. I do. I love to win your stuff, man. So, oh, look at those. Ooh, ooh. Can oh, yeah. get them? <laughs> yeah, I have kind of a binder around here of things I've collected. So, <laughs> but you know, so we're playing. We're playing real anti. You lose it, and it's it's out of your out of your hands. And that is sometimes a feel bad. Some people are not into that. I know. With the very first, like the very first card, the one guy lost was uh, Chain Lightning. He looked up, it's like that thing's like twenty five bucks. Like really, like <laughs> they, they make Italian ones for oh, what am I doing? And then, like it wouldn't play for a while. He's just out of it again. So it's still not for everybody, but I like yeah. having a little skin in the game. <clears throat> I think that's uh, a okay. good transition to what uh, my alter auntie is. So I think we're all geared to be collectors. And we're not very, um, most of us don't like the risk ac aspect of uh, ante. So uh, with alter ante, you're not giving out any, giving away any of your own cards. But we still get to play with those broken cards that we like, like contract and dark pack. So, yeah, so you, you, you shuffle cut ante, you got one face down, at the end you flip it, whoever loses it. They just put the card back in their deck, but now they go make a, a proxy of that on something, right? Or, and yep. and give that to your opponent, and now he has, he can add that or or do whatever he'd like to with it. That's yep. I mean I think that does sound fun. I kind of wish I could go to this. I'm, as I mentioned I'm a little short on wife credit because like we got another event <laughs> like immediately after this one. It's an overnight thing, and it's consuming all of our time right now getting it set up. So this will be our first. Uh, the battle for Ohio. So don't all these international listeners don't get too excited. You got to live in Ohio to to come fight in ours. But um, 
the I, the thing I love about this is as you start winning some stuff, your deck gets more and more busted. You know, I, did you play in Nightmare Ninety Nine? Were you part of that nonsense? I did not. Okay, but I, fo- um, I followed coverage on it, which was pretty insane. Yeah, yeah, it was it was really fun. I played that and did uh, eat mediocre. I don't know. I had my own, I did my own thing. I'll give it that anyhow. But it was kind of crazy as you started getting, you know, more and more moxin or uh especially if you can get a pick up an extra contract or two. Oh, oh man that's really gets fun so yeah i think this is going to be cool as the as the day progresses yeah and, and you can play as many games as as uh you try to play it's like a five hour time limit <clears throat> you're supposed to play your whole pod but then you can continue to play as many games as you want obviously you can only play um one opponent each opponent once so you can't sit there and just, you know, forfeit games with your buddy. But um, the idea of playing more games is you get to sit across the table from as many different people as you want to. So is that going to be a best of one or best of three? Best of one. All games of Ante are best of one. And when you're Perfect. working through your pod, it'll be that. It'll be that. Um, so we're shooting for pods of 10 plus like three wild cards. So I'm hoping to have like a record of, 12 games. Um, and so they, are they going to run up and report or have a match slip every time they win? Or how do you, how are you going to track, how do you police this nonsense? Um, I'm not going to police this at all. This is the best part of uh, this event. <laughs> nice. There, there is zero work for me. Um, you, it's each player's responsibility to go find their pods. Each pod, each player is going to be giving, given a little uh, a score sheet. And it, it'll have the nine, the ten players in your pod, and some spaces for wild cards, and then a whole bunch of other blank lines. So you can just write in the names of whoever you play past that, and you'll just, you know, have your opponent initial it, or you know, do a win loss, and that's that's all we really need. Once we go, once the five hours is done, just going to tell everybody to go back to their pods. You know, they can all stand in one spot. It's like, all right, you guys figure out who won your pod. And they can discuss and deliberate and, you know, all right, this guy won his pod. Cool, you're going on. All right, who is who has the most wins that didn't win their pod? And then we'll figure it out from there to, to get our top eight going. Okay, this is cool. Huh? All and, um, don't be a dick rules are in effect. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Should put that. Ah, nah, we're going to leave dick rules alone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think uh, we're we're not alone in this. We have thought of that the, the event where uh, you know cheating's allowed unless you get caught or something. You just <laughs> the most degenerate stuff you can think of, and uh, that's a tricky one to police. Uh, so and all right, so wild cards are just people outside of your pod. So yeah, the, the next the next three opponents you play, they're your wild cards. So that could be your buddies or anybody you, someone you want to catch up with. You wanted to get in a game, you get to right. play them at least once, right? Yeah. Or you know, you're you're sitting playing against a guy and you happen to bird watch the match beside you and be like, oh, I bet you I could beat that guy. And you just like you know sneak in, like, hey, you want to get a game in? Yeah, sure. Yeah. You know. <clears throat> so there's a little bit gamesmanship there, but that's uh, cool. Um, you think anyone's gonna? Fork over real cards instead of making proxies. I, mean, I, I kind of thought about that. Just showing up with a, you know, two copies of fourth edition deck, and then as you lose it, deck, give them the actual card and just pull a new one out and yeah, your pocket and replace it or something. Step. Um, the original idea I had for this event was to actually play real anti, and have everybody like wear a pin, so like you'd have a if. You had a fully Swedish deck worth over four thousand dollars. You would get like a Swedish pin. If you were like in the two thousand to four thousand dollar range of value in your deck, you would get like a, you know, an EC pin or something. <clears throat> you know, signifying that you got CE cards, but you're still fairly valuable. And then I don't know what the last pin would be. That you're just hey, I'm just here, fourth edition garbage. You know, just here for fun. You would get another pin that way. Like we could do actual pairings, and you sit across from somebody, um, 
and you see their pin, you could offer them, hey, do you want to play for real ANSI? It was, you wouldn't have to do it, but you could sit across from somebody, know the value of their deck instantly, and offer it. That is cool. Yeah, it's probably, again, it's hard to get big turnouts for that kind of degenerate nonsense, you know? <laughs> yeah. I, I do have actually after after being out there with you you and you were one of the first I think you're the only one I've ever seen that said hey do you have actually any 40k I did come back and build one so I have one built but it's not precise and then I'm like well I'm getting the same freaking joy out of losing the ice age crap <laughs> maybe yeah. do I really need to do this I don't know like I'm, cause <laughs> I'm, I'm having a really good time jamming like you know uh, four or five I think that's the benefit benefit to playing the alpha uh to ain't or alliances that we have going on those people that are like you know don't like the scarcity of possibly losing my shit can spend 10 bucks and build a you know black rack or something for fourth edition yep yes yeah, so, yeah this was what i lost last time we played uh let's see i had a a sea sprite a planes um or planting blacksmith and the bounty of the hunt i mean i don't think any one of those cards is more than Definitely not a dollar, I don't think. Um, <laughs> so, and there, there is a level of fun when you're playing anti, no matter what. But there's oh, also yes. a level, a level of adrenaline when you actually have real skin in the game. Actually, have the 40k deck together. <clears throat> you know, you're not drawing your birds. You still got to face down anti. You're losing the game. Like, yeah, I like how they these. This is actual 40k stuff. I like how they. They write on the card the actual stakes, you know, when it came out. That's pretty cool. I, I'm a fan of that, too. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll probably play 40K at some point to say I've done it once or twice, but I don't know that that's going to be my bug. It, it does seem cool. Um, I drew that. I know the guys in Texas do some yeah, anti stuff, that. too. <clears throat> Steven, they're gonna have your boy MG Alters there. He's done some, some cool oh, stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah. After I met that guy, I was like, that's when I uh, commissioned him when we went to Gettysburg. I was like, I got an idea. Yeah. The uh, Will of Fortune. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well oh, that's yours right there. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, he's been doing yeah. stuff for me for a couple of years. Uh, that dude is incredibly talented. Yeah. <clears throat> I just he did he did that uh blue earthquake for me. Oh, that oh. thing was awesome. That's yours. Yeah. yeah. I'll try to pull that up, but instead of the blue arc and you did the, the blue earthquake, which is a, just an amazing um yeah, I like I always try to come up with like really wacky ideas with him and just pitch them to him. But like last year I was just in a I was in a dry spell. I really didn't have any good ideas. Until, until that blue hurricane came along. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can find that real quick, because that is super cool. Uh, Discord. Yeah, that's where I was at. Right there it is. Yeah. I mean, so did he take a blue card and, and make it an earthquake? Is that what he did? Or did he? I don't even. Well, he hand painted all of the blue on that card. Afraid you're gonna say that. Yeah, it's just amazing. And he doesn't he I, I asked him about the text box. I said, you can like, you know, do the text box and like paint the words back on. I don't care. He's like, no. <clears throat> He'll paint around them. Um I, I <laughs> thought like maybe he scratched the paint off. No, he, it's just all so around each individual. Painting around the freaking that is so hard to do. He, oh, sent yeah. me, he sent me a picture with just the text box done. And he's like, I uh, I'm done. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I know the picture don't do it justice, but on that Wheel of Fortune, all the, like under a loop or anything, all the little fine line stuff is just mind blowing. Like, I try to alter cards and they look okay for Auntie, but that dude is just insane. Was this yours also? Yeah, that's mine. All right, what's the story here? Because it's a it's a balance that says "fuck Hasbro" and Ben's mom at the bottom. It's the 69th edition. 
<laughs> um, so um, uh, MG did that one too, but he did not want to take credit for it. Okay, because well, we will just cut, cut that out of the podcast there. Yeah, it, it, he's a very clean cut guy. And the fact that it said fuck Hasbro, he didn't want to put his name on it. So because I had, I had suggested that he sign the other side. Oh, uh, okay. He's and so that. just he just did the fuck Hasbro, and then it just looked awkward. And I was like, something needs to be over there. And I was just thinking about it. And that's just an inside joke with Ben Katz. I'm always talking about doing his mom. So, <laughs> <laughs> Is she hot? I never saw <laughs> I'm not mistaken. I think you did this too. Hang on, let me get. Yeah, yeah, because oh, we yeah. won that out there. Yeah, the yeah. table was cleaning up on the altars that day, and uh, the the prizes. So yeah. it's funny how that worked out. If you remember, in the parking lot, walking in the door, I'm like, "This is what I'm after. I want to alter demonic tutor. That's all I give a shit about." And sure <laughs> enough, man, it worked out so good. Yeah. I, that's probably why we all enjoyed that event so much because we all just kind of did it what we wanted. Like I, I wanted to get a spice prize and I, I won the freaking thing. I was on cloud nine. You wanted, literally told me when you get there. I don't need to get an altered demonic tutor. Get the best one possible. Um, I, I mean, they just kept like our table was like getting worn out. They were like winded from going up and getting so many of the raffle prizes. It was just ridiculous. <laughs> uh, like, geez, man, like how are we getting everything? But yeah, we really. Um, I don't know. Karma to burn, man. I guess we, we pulled it off that day. I can't remember his name. I think it was Levi, but he looked at me that second time. He's like, this motherfucker again or some shit. It was funny. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, Demonic Tutor, um, MG did that one too. That was my buddy John had it commissioned a couple of years ago. And he's like, eh, I think I'm going to donate this. That's it. But seen a lot of play, man. It's worked out really good. Yeah, I see it all the time. <laughs> Man, <take five. laughs> right. Do what? Searching for contract, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. You should throw that in, Andy. Come on, man. Give me a chance at it. Give me a chance <laughs> to win that sucker back. I'll give you. A, so uh, I think I've got a over the holiday ordeal. I think I've got two full sixty card decks completely altered. So wow. Just win. That's it. Well, I've got some leprechauns coming for you because we're playing on St. Patrick's Day that Friday. So uh, I've got a bunch of the uh, what's the, whatever the leprechaun is from uh, Legends. I, I went ahead and ordered like 25 of those things. So we got those coming. And I, I did I did leak Mike the uh, the promo cards we made. I showed him before we started the pod. So did you happen to get those on TCG player? Uh, yeah. Why, did you see me snag them all up? <laughs> yeah, that's what's fucked up. I had them in my cart, and I was like, oh, I'll check out later. And then, like, every fucking one of them were gone in, like, an hour. I'm like, nobody buys this fucking card, and you send a text saying, hey, I just bought these. I'm like, yeah. well, I, I saved, all right. you, saved you the trouble, man. Yeah. Hooked, hooked you up. <laughs> yeah, anything that had a good price on it, I was buying them all, man. Just, uh, oh, yeah. Three yeah. full carts of leprechauns. <laughs> Been a while since I've seen that art. Is he uh, poised to have a, a good penis drawn on him? I would assume so. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we do have a, a contender already for uh, uh, best uh, best altar of the year. I don't know. Should I share that one? <laughs> which which one? <laughs> uh, well, the uh, instill pride. Um, that one. Oh. <laughs> we were playing that was like the last thing at the end we only had like an hour and a half to play and we pounded like several beers as quick as we could and that was the last thing at the end of the night was when i lost that and we we're just like oh my god um yeah it's a pretty good time when you're <laughs> so we'll see we, we got some highlights but i think uh i think yeah i'm hoping during our overnight event some people show up with uh um you know, with uh, some anti decks, so we can get a little bit of a little bit of stuff going on. All right, Aslan, Leprechaun. Let me just. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I'm 
this dude will be packed, packing it. You pull him up here. So I won one anti card when we were at CJ's pub in Indiana for the Friday night get together. And I found it the other day. I meant to put it aside so I could show it to you, but like whoever was drinking the hardest is apparently who I want it from. They spelled anti A N T I. So it's <laughs> anti 2022. <laughs> that's brilliant. It's I left it alone. I'm like, that's perfect. This leprechaun looks like, you know, he's poised to just let it all hang out. Yeah, we're going to need a bunch of green Sharpies. While still, like, reaching around and grabbing someone else's. It, it just writes itself. It's, I keep trying to move above it and, you know, do better things. But it just sometimes, it's just, it's right there. It's just too obvious, you know? How do you not? So I sent you that picture of uh, my son. When he was on the, you featured his war penis. Oh the, yeah, yeah the 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 war penis. I don't remember if I got a picture of that, but he was he was very happy with that. Huh? He was, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I sent him the link to the video with like the timestamps. Like, hey, you gotta check this out. Where you guys are just like spent like three minutes talking about the war penis and it's balls of steel <laughs> hooves. <laughs> well, I I do think that has been our most popular podcast too. Uh, talking yeah. penis ante, I think is still the top of the charts. It just continues because maybe people go back and re-listen or something. I don't know, but it it just you can't beat it, man. I don't, I don't know what. So I think people can relate. Either they listen and just find it hilarious, or they played ante and be like, "Oh yeah, I yeah. totally understand." <laughs> <clears throat> we need to get uh, the latest tech on. Uh drawing penises right yeah maybe ask mg if he would come out and do like an art class for us to, of drawing dicks <laughs> well he's too <laughs> he's too nice to draw dicks well You're he like, can wear like a, a, a mask or something if he wants to not be seen but well, maybe, uh, maybe I, <laughs> show us how to like draw fingers <laughs> and we'll just translate that you know a very hairy hands and we'll Maybe we'll have your son come out and teach us to draw dick camels or whatever. That might be better. That's that's more more achievable, possibly. <laughs> All right. Well, let me, let me touch one more thing on your your format here. So you guys are also you have a dollar value. We didn't get into that, but so your decks have to be within a certain dollar amount, and you're gonna have to go through and you know kind of add up these these prices and. And that well, is going to, so what's, what's the high end? Seven grand? Is that between four and seven thousand? Is that where you're supposed to be? Yeah. So this weekend, um, two things came to light. Um, one, there's a typo on the price sheet here. Um, force of nature and force field prices are backwards. So I have to do an update to the sheet to fix those. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's uh, what, what is, this is, uh, what are these prices? Unlimited? Yeah. Yeah, they're okay. all. So I have to tweak that. And then another question came up, which was ring them a roof. What can that do? Um, <clears throat> so I'd like to have it as Garfield intended and just pull out whatever you got in your, you know, your backpack. But I also don't want to see Jace the Mind Sculptor come into ante. Right, I think you have to limit it maybe to old school, but I don't know. Yeah, that's a tricky one. So instead of trying to figure out all the rules text that I need to errata it for this this event, I'm probably just going to ban it, sadly. Even though it could be really, really cool. Um, but I also don't think that we're going to have any lack of degeneracy. De 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 you know, the room is going to get very powerful through the day. I don't think we need any help with ring and roof, honestly. But, I mean, <laughs> the problem is it costs five, and it costs five to activate it. And right. then and you then get the card. Next, right, so that you have to cast it and then wait for a draw. Yeah. So, essentially, it could kind of have summoning sickness if you had to wait till your next turn. Unless you have ten mana laying around. At that point, you want to get Jace just to end the friggin' thing and be done with it. <laughs> <laughs> And now you all day you got a Jace kind of 
stuck in the in the decks. I don't know. I don't know that I would ban it. I, if anything, yeah, I would just I make a small would... rat of it. It's. Uh, I, I mean, I guess it would have to be part of your budget, though, right? Does it? Like that's another part of the errata that I just, you know, have to overthink, and I just don't feel like doing that. Like maybe it's just banned. And then after you search for it, where does it go? Does it go back in your backpack? Does it go into your side deck? Does it, you know, is it? Can you play it for future games? I thought that could be a, a fun aspect too. But oh, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, if it lasted forever. Yeah. Um, yeah. So once you've once you've pulled off the miraculous, you've paid the five, you've activated it for five. Now you got your extra card. And then yeah, after it does the have game, some complexity though. Yeah. I Give think there's all card. kinds of potential for fun. Say that again. That? So give it the jeweled bird effect and swap it out with your ante. Yeah, also bring them root becomes your ante card. Yeah. And then you get the card you went and got. Oh, That's so then there's cool. more bring them roofs in the room. <laughs> well, then what's the next guy going to do with it? He didn't plan for this. He didn't pack a side <laughs> pocket full of Jaces. Yeah. <laughs> hey, can you draw me a Jace real quick? <laughs> well, this would be very easy to alter, but uh, I'm afraid it's kind of expensive. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what they're at now. <laughs> but it's clearly a cock rank. I mean, if you ever saw. <laughs> oh. I like that effect, on my price list. Yeah. 129 bucks, whatever you can draw on that, sure. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. I mean, you're probably right. You ban it for the simplicity of it. Um, yeah, that's all it is. It's just simplicity. Yeah. Here, here's no, the one-page sheet, you know. <clears throat> I mean, it's kind of fun when some one, one jerk shows up and screws up the whole day with something weird that's chaos confetti or whatever, just starts tearing his chaos orbs up. Or Those things are legendary, but, you know, at the same time, you want to minimize them as much as you can. Yeah. It would be a lot of fun, but is there you know. a reason you put a minimum price? So that the builds, it's so it's trying to reflect the meta of Annie Forty K. I got so you. You have the floor of what you have to play, but most people aren't building fully powered decks. So it's the meta is like in between that four to ten thousand dollar range. So. <clears throat> And is with, there a is there a cap on 40k though? No, so curious. No there really isn't, right? You can go as maniac as you want. Yeah, there are maniacs that are playing it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Money's too hard to come by, man. I, I have a hard time with that. Do you have a you got a decent amount of people signing up so far? You think it's going to be a good event? I mean, it's going to be a good event. Um, signups have been slow, but there's several people that I talk to that are coming. They just haven't signed up. So, yeah, I'm working on it. <laughs> All right, cool. you still thinking about going? I'm trying. I got a like some work logistics. I got to figure out. I put in for the time off. Whether it's approved or not, I don't know. I'm covering a lot of area right now. Cool. <clears throat> York's a, de a decent town. You'll find plenty of places to stay and um, park and garage right caddy corner from the place. This so. is different from the, the one we played at for uh, Glorycon, though, right? Yeah, yeah. You got to yeah. drive a little bit further than, than where Glorycon was. From you guys, anyway. Yeah, that's oh, all right. Yeah. What the, real quick, I mean, just kind of, what's your background, Mike? When, how did you get into magic and. How long you been doing this? And I mean, I know you because you dominated our deck photo contest, and that's when uh, I realized you were a legend amongst legends. I'm like, this guy is, is my dude. And then, but I don't. What, let's give, give me a little backstory. How'd you get into all this? Um, I guess it was middle school and started playing Magic in '94, opening revised packs, I believe. Um, 
<clears throat> I always liked the original cards. I never had full power, but it was. Um, I guess in high school I finally got a Lotus, and then. Um, I got turned off by Magic when they started changing the art, and yeah, that was like starting an Ice Age, but Ice Age was still cool. I opened a lot of Homelands, like that's that's kind of the the heyday when I actually had some money to burn in your pocket, and. Uh, but then I like I preferred to play Type One, and slowly but surely, nobody wanted to play Type One in our play group. They all wanted to play Type Two and go to pre-releases, and I was just turned off by that. So by <clears throat> by ninety eight ninety nine, I was completely out of Magic. Did I you sell playing. your collection like everyone does? Yeah, I waited a little while, you know, till till the wife and the kids and the house. Then the the Lotus was the last thing that I finally sold. And then just perusing the internet, I guess in 2018, like realized that, oh, there's a group of people that only play the old cards. What? Oh, wait, we can do this for, via webcam. I don't have to go anywhere. I don't have to ask permission to play. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> Sign me up. Yeah. Then feet first into the whole format. And the, see, I got a similar story with that. It, kind of the same ordeal, but something I noticed and really hooked me in was the community like i've never well i'm not gonna say never there's one guy but other than the one guy i've never had a bad opponent i've never had a shitty opponent everybody's been cool it's been great yeah yeah sometimes you get you know on the wrong spectrum of things where you know either you or your opponent is being too spiky and too spicy and sometimes there's there's salt poured on the table but yeah yeah you know, I, it's still not a bad opponent. Like it's, you know, you both understand what you're trying to do, you know, right. sorry that one guy ran over the other and you still go have to do it. <laughs> it's, it's no big deal. <laughs> right. Yeah. This community is awesome. Oh, for sure. For sure. All right. We're going to talk a little bit about this while I've got you here. Okay. Um, yeah, this was, uh, so this was our original idea. We just did a, I don't know. We, we did it twice and we do it again. I've just been, short on time but so we, we we did a contest and the whole premise was just send us a deck photo no one's gonna play we're gonna figure out who the winner is so okay. you said maybe maybe that you guys would have like a top four playoff and actually play the decks yeah yeah for, for the first one you said that, that was we, we and we kind of had that i don't know i i get too busy i Need some of the other guys to pick up the slack because I got no time for this stuff, but I still <laughs> like it and I, I do it. But I mean, we were we were trucking along and uh, Brosser did this like amazing deck, and we were just like we were all blown away by what he had done, and because uh, you know he he altered the way Brosser does. If you saw this, but he, you know every card was we were just so blown away. It was you know he put edges on everything and he did blood stains and uh every one was a little bit different all the terrors and the bad moons and it was a full-on i mean there was nothing get, could beat this deck you know it was this obvious i mean look there was his demonic tutor and his bad moons those are just so freaking you know so him like he's just so good like he did different all the zombie masters have different backgrounds different faces the the evil presence was different colors and there's just, you know, nothing could beat it. And then he, he even threw in us the <laughs> the Evan Stronghold to <laughs> tug at our heartstrings a little bit. Like he was totally getting all of it. And, and so it was it was just like a done deal. And then out of nowhere, we get the greatest photo. I don't know, like it can't be touched even since. It's like it almost took the fun out of it. You've you ever seen that South Park where <laughs> Cartman sees the funniest thing he's ever seen, and then he can't laugh anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he set the he set the bar too high, um, <laughs> but this was amazing. And so we had a whole spreadsheet where we'd go through and we were we judged everything. I don't know where the spreadsheet is on like four different categories of like playability and all this stuff. And and yet everything except this freaking deck was kind of not that great. We're like, what? <laughs> why did he go? Like he did all this. He's got this amazing like candles burning and everything and he's playing like i guess it's a troll disco deck or whatever but you got like a a breeding pit and fallen angels and like it's a spice prize on top of it all. like what is this thing like 
<laughs> if he had just done a good deck, <laughs> it was 10 across the board. But you had to give us a little room to waver. We're like, oh, man, any one of us could beat this deck. I mean, shoot, I forget this card even. What is the one with uh, something to do with artifacts? What is that? Oh, yeah, zoom in on the one crooked card. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, the crooked <laughs> one that's out of place. That's also 0.01% knock. But I don't know. It was we were so blown away. It really made the whole event fun, and we were just I don't know, everyone had such a good time. And that, the story is: this is you say this is your brother? Is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's my brother. <laughs> that's just in your garage or something? Or yep. Yeah. So like the whole story on the deck was. Um, so I saw your announcement, and I was like, huh, "All right, I got to come up with an idea." And it just, I just sit on it for a while and I, I, I can't come up with a great idea. I can't come up with a great idea. And I feel like this was like two days before your end, end date, the deadline. And I was sitting at work and I was like, wait a second, I got it. And, uh, you know, just, you know, a dark wizard just sitting there surrounded by candles. So then so I immediately call my wife. She, she's a church secretary. I was like, hey, how many candles does the church have i need to make a pentagram <laughs> yeah yeah with the church candles right <laughs> so <laughs> sure enough she brings home like just boxes of candles i'm like oh this is awesome and then i got my brother over um and he's a dark scary guy anyway so he already had the jacket the hat and uh you know laid it all out like posed it a couple times without him in it and then i got him in there and then I, I actually had him, I think, upside down the other way. And then I, I shared it with a friend. He's like, you realize if he just like leans over a little bit more and it's the other way, like you can make a pentagram. I'm like, oh, crap. Got to do that. So he got back in the circle. That's when he bumped that one card that was crooked. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and we, and we, did a, we did a photo shoot again. Um, I'll be honest. I never knew that was crooked. I never even <laughs> saw it until just now. So. <clears throat> But I've and also never something. seen a jacket that does that. I mean, this, I mean, I, I just couldn't believe all of it together it was like, this should have been Magic 30th's background right here. This should have been the back of all their cards. So, like, when I had the idea for the deck photo, and I realized the deck photo idea was so good, I was like, oh, it doesn't matter what pile of cards I throw together. This is just going to win. I just know it. <laughs> so, so you were given, like, it had to be playable. Like, there was a potential for a top four, so I had to make it somewhat, you know, could win games. You were given points for alters, so I threw in every altered card that I had. And then it had to be um, Halloween-based. So that's where the be Breeding Pit, the Hell's Caretaker, the uh, oh, Worm... Oh, 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 what did I do here? Sorry. Hang on. All over the place. I'm trying to <laughs> zoom in. Yeah, so that stuff made it playable around the corner. Yeah, I mean, you got power in there. You got Chaos Orb and a Shivan. And is that a two-headed giant? Yeah, he's he's tattooed. <clears throat> and you got some disc with trolls. And I mean, it probably would have done decent. We should have played it off. We we kind of had a uh, we kind of had uh, Timmy was gonna like stream it or whatever. And I don't know. I just I couldn't get to it. I, I think we actually went through with that. The next year, me and Eric ended up playing. He had like the healing salve, <laughs> whatever bullshit that was. <laughs> yeah, he had a he had a crazy one too. I, yeah, he did a a hiking deck. Or no, 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 never mind. That was I don't know where those those are at the moment. No, it's like all this uh, natural medicine stuff, and I did like uh, climbing trees or something. <laughs> yeah, that. That next year when you did it, where it was like, hey, open theme, do whatever you want, <clears throat> you know, just keep it on, keep it on your, your own theme. That was so cool. But I was just, I, I don't know if I can beat what I did last year. I, I think I, I think I might drop and I just walk away. <laughs> yeah, I know. And yeah. uh, I mean, it's, it does seem hard to, to re to, to exceed. I mean, that's like, we'd try. I mean, I, I don't know. Um, I, I, 
It could probably be done, but it, the the bar is extremely high. I'll be honest. I mean, it it is up there with that the original one. I, I think maybe we should use that for the back of our cards. These goofy proxies and stuff we make, we should just make that the back. Might be a better idea than what we've been doing. Maybe we can do that for like a Halloween proxy kind of deal, like a mind twist proxy or something. Well, I, yeah, I mean, we've got, I ordered all the Evan Moxes and the, the promos for the event already. Um, hang on, I lost. That photo is square, though. That doesn't make for a good rectangle. No, nah, yeah, that's true. I can make the rest black. I did, I did enjoy this. This is what I came up with for the next year. I did a, <laughs> I did a, a music <laughs> festival, Titania's music <laughs> festival. I put a lot of effort into it, man. Everything... Everything was uh, pretty solid. I had the singing trees and Titania's song. And, um, you know, then I went and did like the, the, <laughs> the reflecting mirror for his, the CD and Apocalypse Chime. And, like every instrument I could find and the dancing folk and Goblin War Drums and, and a hymn to tour. Anything I could find that was. The did uh, redo, there it is. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I, and then, uh, you know, I, I made it a, a concert things so that like the bands that were going to be performing were mana screw and, and four strip like i really want to go here at four strip i'd love to hear them perform you know <laughs> bone flute torak was going to be there uh, <laughs> the oven folk band i don't know it is fun i, I do like it i think we got to bring it back this year um again but i i we i bought or started you know eric and i started a new company and we moved to a new building so this year was just 0.0, .0 time for anything like that. So, but I think next year we'll bring something back. But di didn't you have like a fish tank idea or something? Or did. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I had. Um, there were cards in the fish tank. Yeah. <clears throat> that was like a newest monthly where they included homelands. Um, it might have been Ice Age homelands. But uh, I actually put. It was a mono blue deck. With sea sprites and telekinesis and some blue power and all that other stuff. And so I I took most of the cards and I taped them to the back of the aquarium so you could see them through the glass. And then I actually put the telekinesis and the sea sprites inside the uh, inside the fish tank. And telekinesis, the guy's like lifting up like this uh, that statue thing. Yeah. <laughs> so I had a spongebob's house and i suspended it with fishing line and had a little figure like he was like doing the same thing in there so, so i mean yeah so you got ideas man don't don't give up forever on this no no just like, I, I know you've set the bar high and it's hard to come back to that you know <laughs> when you have a great idea it's really great but i don't know i i sometimes i find myself just in a you know just a uh like a writer's block kind of a thing so no, I get it. I mean, and, but yeah, I mean, you had a good idea of the whole thing. And then when he showed up with like that perfect jacket that made a pentagram and then, like it even just got better and better. Like, you know, I, I don't know what else you could have done there. I guess not move that one card or something, but uh, <laughs> uh, we're really, really nitpicking here. So what else are you planning to go to this year? Are you going to try to hit some other events? Have you, I, I heard somewhere there's a schedule of things. I've not seen it. Um, what else do you usually go play throughout the year? Um, I'm going to go to LobsterCon again this year. That, that's that, drivable for you, right? You just drive up there? Yeah, the one time we, we did fly because we got round trip fl flights for like $98. Um, but still, like dealing with all the Uber stuff and um, the airport we went to for that was like an hour and a half, hour 45 away. So it was a little bit more of a pain than it needed to be. Um, driving isn't that bad for us. I think that's the current plan, unless we find, you know, ridiculous <laughs> flights again. Yeah, I was going to go to LobsterCon last year and. Ended up just being me, and it was still too much COVID crap. I didn't, I don't know, I was kind of bumming out. Like, I'm like, I don't want to get on a plane and wear a mask and, and all that crap. So 
I kind of like all that's subsided at this point. Yeah, I think it might be a little easier, and I might be able to, um, you know, figure out something. All right, hang on, let me find this. Got one other topic. Have you ever played um, the Vanguard cards? Uh, no. What was that Paul up in New York? He did that event. Yeah, so I thought these things looked fun. And, you know, so for anyone that's not familiar, it gives you a, a starting and a max hand size and then a starting life. So it'll say, hey, you get an extra two cards, you get minus three cards, whatever, get an extra number of life. And then it has an ability on there. And that's just an effect that's in play. And um, so I, I was like, oh, these are cool. And I, I have a few and I was going to buy the rest of them and stuff. And then all of a sudden I realized that some of these freaking things are like two, three hundred dollars. There are some extremely high dollar ones. So then I was like, well, I'll just print my own. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so like, uh, like Gix is uh, for three. You can return a, a creature from your graveyard to hand, but it gives you a plus eighteen life, minus two. That's like a hundred and fifty dollar card. Um, I forget the. So the other thing I'm really into, or maybe I, maybe I'm a bad person, but I love AI art. I don't know if you're familiar with any of that stuff, but like Stable Diffusion, all those guys. So. I just got bored one night. I start went through and I, I I made like two versions of a ton of these cards, and uh, I, I just started a, adjusting the art. And so I don't know if you can see Karn. He was very excited to be here. So I've I've, I've got these on order. When I ordered two sets of them, but if anyone wants some, I could probably share the files or clean them up a little bit. Um, and it, I don't know. I think we're gonna have an event where. Uh, I think we're probably going to do it next week whenever we're done. Um, so, yeah, like, <laughs> you know, we got, we got this version and then we got the fun version. And then, uh, you know, I did a new Mishra. I did a Multani. You know, it said, yeah, these were fun. I, I just kind of went through and I was trying to find cool uh, stuff on the, the AI site that other people had done and, and did some of my own. And, uh, like, I love that one there. Attacking does not cause your creatures to attack. I mean, that's pretty sweet. So I don't know how they're going to fit on the cards. It was like 20 bucks for a set of them. Um, Did you so get them? Like, right my version of Sarah. Say that again? Are they oversized or are they regular size cards? They're oversized. So uh, if you go to, like, makeplayingcards.com, they can they have these big, oh, big size cards for, like, tarot cards and things. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what I... I went through and printed those out. We'll, we'll see. But so I think what we're going to do is like whoever gets last place gets first pick. And then you can, um, we're going to have another event following up later where we'll use them. I think that's going to, I mean, some of these are pretty insane effects. So, you know, out of the gate, whenever you tap a land for mana, it produces an additional mana of the same type. I mean, holy crap. Like that's just out of the gate, turn one. You guaranteed, no, it's, Minus two hand and minus three life, but um, <laughs> I was having fun. With some. some of them were easier to find than others, and I feel like some of these, like this, is horrible art for was it Stark, whatever his name is. I love what I came up with. You know, some of these are definitely better than others. I didn't put a ton of time into it because time's a little limited right now. But I, I had fun. I went through and and did all and grabbed all these different things out. So. Once I get them, I'll see how they fit on the cards, but I'm probably going to go ahead and maybe just like do new art for all of them. And then if anybody wants some, I'll just send you the, the files or whatever and you can you can use them. But I feel like they'd be fun for some kind of an event. I know the, the one you were talking about, I think he passed them out at random, gave everyone like one random card and they just had to deal with it for that day, which is that can kind of go bad. You know, like I don't know if it's like. Yeah. If you can build around them, I think they can they could be maybe way way too busted. I don't know. Um, oh yeah, I think I gave uh, Titania some actual exposed a little better rack system there on her. Uh, <laughs> I was just <laughs> needed a break from the real world, so this is where I came up with. But and so I don't know. This might be something that we can consider for. Uh, 
something to do with your play group or you know like you were talking about doing something to get together with your local crew there there might be some advantage to that so you know, once i tune in a little bit i think the crops can be off i might i did didn't feel like going through and fixing all there's like 28 of them or something like that i didn't really want to fix them all they also didn't like my back because it said magic on it that's the one thing that um i think they won't print is that yeah print. they didn't like that so i ended up um uh, let's see <laughs> you, just like went, you just went into paint and like scratched it off and then drew a penis on it right yeah pretty much so like i did <laughs> just i ended up just doing this i think this is cool so they're going to do a an, an, an addition but oh, so this nice. is this is where it should be mike in the middle with his candles just burning things down right in the center of that circle <laughs> if you ask me that might be the that might be the official final version of our um of our vanguard cards and of course we could make our own that might be more relevant for old school you know try to make enchantress work or some of the things that are wrong uh we've often thought that there should be some lords for some of the the off you know the odd uh, tribes and stuff and you know that don't have a a goblin king or whatever you could you could come up with some other stuff so i don't know we, we, maybe we'll make our own it's it's been kind of a little side project amongst other things and i'm kind of excited to see i got a bunch of big mail days coming up here have those things show up and uh, the other new cards what are we going to do to make uh, glory con 2024 epic any thoughts know. on how to ramp that one up or just a, another typical event? I don't know yet. You've got time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll blink and it'll be here. Just wait, you know. Yeah, but it'll <laughs> it'll be the standard gentleman's Atlantic, you know, just just a vanilla good time. Yeah, I'm a huge fan. I mean, yeah, you appreciate no no mind twist no library right those gentlemen's yep yeah I, I that's we've been tinkering with just different ways to make the games more fun because if you play a lot of it you know yeah you first in in on it is cool to play every old card but i don't know after you've been doing it a while you're just like yeah i got mind twisted again huh? got library again it's just that doesn't seem fun so um and honestly just those two alone can make a world of difference so I, I i do like that this guy doing it huh? the last time i was at the dobbin house which was the venue for um uh the glory con sounded like he didn't want to do this anymore so i don't know if it'll be there or we'll find a different location in gettysburg i'll still keep it there in gettysburg but just may have to find a different venue. Can you do it on a battlefield or something like that? Can we uh, <laughs> yeah. fire a cannon? I don't know. <laughs> Honorable mention, Brian actually had a really good idea for that, uh, the event proxy with a cannon shooting a smoke ring for a soul ring. I, st I still think oh, about that. Right. I thought that was um, Yeah, as far as like a cool card. Yeah, yeah, a cannon with a smoke ring. For a soul ring, that, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah, let we went. Let you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you going to keep some notes and then come back and do a wrap up on it or a follow up after we're all said and done? Be kind of curious to see uh, how this whole thing plays out. Yeah, I can do that. Definitely. <clears throat> I mean, if you want oh, to move to Ohio, you can come play on our. <laughs> yeah, the following week, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, That'll probably have to be our next. Uh, probably have to our next bottle will have to be the this battle for Ohio thing that's finally coming together. I've talked about it for like two years, and all last year people were like, "When are we doing it, bro? Come on, bring it!" You know, and I'm like, "Ah, oh, man, just not a good year. You don't have the time." I'm like, all right, find me a spot. No one can find me a spot. It would just come and go, come and die. And I got all these like chat 
threads that are like half done. Like, when are we battling, bro? I'm like, I'm ready to take on a while. And so finally gonna make it happy it happen. So it's it's exciting times for us. So you guys doing two nights, three nights? Yeah, we're gonna just uh kick it off Friday at like five till the end of the day Saturday. So yeah. Cool. Like um and we're 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 gonna be in this little house. So Eric offered up if anyone wanted to share his uh, his blow up mattress, he said he would. <laughs> It's got a big pink heart inflatable blow up mattress. I, I really hope he brings that. Hope that's real. <laughs> well, that reminds Just... me of a. a we were looking at um, <clears throat> Levi and I went up to um Hartford event years ago, and. We were like trying to find a hotel. I was like, dude, let's just go up there and just find the cheapest thing there. And we we pulled this up and just around the block, there was one of those sleazy motels. And one of the pictures <laughs> was of the heart-shaped bed with jacuzzi in it. I was like, you and I need to definitely get this room and spoon in it. <laughs> And send the wives but, photos and some selfies. The, the reviews were like the most wretched reviews of a hotel I've ever seen. <laughs> so luckily, Jason Schwartz was there. He's like, hey, why don't you guys just come over to the place that I got? There's plenty of rooms over there. All right, cool. <clears throat> and we, we went over there, got a suite over there, and did not have to, to be in the same bed with each other. So that was a good thing. <laughs> well, that's awesome. How often do you guys get together and play regular? Do you do uh, monthly, bi-weekly, every so often? How, what's the uh, old order like? I'm, yeah, we're pretty about spread that out. So, um, monthly, we get together in person. But it's usually like a 45-minute hour to an hour and a half drive for everybody to, to get to a bar. So Yeah, that's kind of we, – we try to do once a month if we can. It just – with families and everything else going on, that's about all you can expect, really. Some of these guys are like, oh, yeah, we get to every Tuesday, every Thursday. I'm like, what the hell? How do you get this life, man? What you... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, every Tuesday, Thursday is basketball practice. Every every Monday is scout scout meetings. Like, it's just yeah. on, to, on top of work hours, right? Absolutely. Like playing that shit ahead nowadays. Like, oh, yeah, we're getting together the 18th. All right, two weeks. I got you, got you. I'll set, make sure. I, I'm, I'm trying to give everyone notice. Yeah. I'm trying to be cautious of everybody's things, man. It's like people got the, they got a lot going on. So it's it's hard to pull stuff off. I'm, I'm, I'm no different than anyone else. I think, Boy, I think before we wrap up, you got a spice card you like, Mike? Any, any favorite, um, um, Cards, the like a pet favorite of yours or anything that you're. Uh, I've been casting to... a lot of ball lightnings lately. Lately, they're fun. Yeah. All said. Now, are you reanimating it? Or are you just? Uh, yes. Just yes. casting it. No ball, ball lightning reanimator. <clears throat> it's been fun. Had a lot of some decent success with it. Sounds like what I ran at Thrash Bash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, what was it? Something balls? What was it? Sweaty yeah, balls you ran or something like that? Yeah, the deck was uh, dirty disc and balls. It was like a reanimator, ball lightning, and troll disco at the same time. I don't know if I can find my pictures or not. I mean, is it best with Blood Moon? Is that the that kind of a, its best friend? To... Go ahead and turn your crap into mountains to be able to cast it. Or are you? No, I didn't do it. I didn't do that. Um, there's a photo here soon. No, just basically like every restricted card, five color, no factories. That's the only way it works is no factories. All right, how do I share screen with this thing? Right. Should be a little arrow pointing up up there. It says share at the top. You see that one? I don't know if I have that option. No? Top there. Open share tray. Okay. Yeah, and just share whichever screen you got. There you go. 
like the alders already. Two headed Listen, jack, man. yes, as you should. This was good. Shit, man. Two headed giant is surprisingly not a bad card. Like, no, it's people, people hate her. With the amount of small creatures and two ones and one ones running about, like, he just stares at a couple of them and just says, bring it on. <laughs> what would, uh, what would Gallon might do in this? Is that bad? Uh, I probably just need more X spells, right? And it'd probably help with the, with the Shivens. I mean, Shivens get awesome. I mean, you could cut with the it. chains because they're not really doing much. And you could literally drop two ball lightnings on the same turn. <laughs> Should be pretty, yeah, well, pretty sick take, achievement. Uh, we'll take a uh, mana burn for one ball lightning, right? <laughs> well, you could earthquake, clear the board, and then ball lightning after. You know, mm -hmm. that's kind of living the dream. I like the strip mine. <laughs> yeah, that strip mine's amazing. Yeah, I did that one not too long ago, actually, like a month or two ago. What this, what's the story of the duck on the Badlands? I mean, you got you got a devil duck on your Badlands. <laughs> what is that? That was just an inside joke with Ben Katz. He's uh, his that's like his company's logo, and he's like, "Hey, do you think you can put this like on a mountain or a swamp?" I'm like, "Yeah, I could, I could definitely paint that on a mountain or a swamp." I said, "I don't think it goes on either one of those though. I think it needs to go on a Badlands." And he he just kind of laughed at me. I was like, and so. <laughs> I did not paint it on my Badlands. I painted it on the sleeve. Yeah, good call. Yeah, I like sleeve. All right, I got to ask, what kind of fucking company has a devil duck for their slogan? <laughs> I mean, what's this guy selling? Maybe maybe not allowed to talk about that in public? I don't know. I have no idea what he actually does. Okay, that's probably best. <laughs> but Let's see. He sent me pictures of, like, of like a, a big, huge fathead in his office. It's, it's on the wall. Just that devil duck. Wow. All right, I'm fully intrigued. I, I, if you don't mind, reach out to him and ask him, what the hell does he do? <laughs> I, I, He's in sales. I'd, I'd love to have that for a company logo, but I don't know what the hell I can sell. Hopefully he just sells devil ducks, maybe. I don't know. Maybe he's the, the devil duck guy. Bert and Ernie's just selling uh, rubber duckies. Uh, but you have, all right, you have no way to animate anything else. So you get, you're running four animate deads, ball any shivens, which are good. I mean, even wins a change. Is that crazy? Maybe. No, it's not crazy. Throw a few of those things in the graveyard and bring them back. Uh, no, it doesn't go to the graveyard. Wins a change put, puts it into the, back into the uh, deck. So yeah, all right, yeah. You're not helping that engine. No. No, this is a cool deck, though. And no sideboards. I love not playing with sideboards. Is this just how you roll, or...? I, I've play? been trying to do that as much as I can this year, and that was another reason for the Alter Ante, is, hey, how can I have an event that doesn't have a sideboard? Just shuffle up and go, shuffle up and go. Yeah, I probably do like that about Ante, too, because, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm up to eight anti-decks so the way we are and it is fun you just drop one you just like grab the next one shuffle up play and never think about it um gosh you got good stuff here this is beautiful all right one last thing before we go what is tattoo 40 were you talking okay. about that yeah yeah um that's something a <clears throat> brainchild from andy callahan and um jason Pupre. You go to a lot of events, you get those tattooed cards. Um, but a lot of them are kind of low power. They don't see regular play. So they came up with this idea of Tattoo 40. It's cards that you either won an event or got from an event as a participation, like a participation card. <clears throat> and that's it. So no altars, no gifts, none of that stuff. If you went to an event, and you got cards because of that event, you can play that. This feels like a lot to get 40 cards. So I think you're allowed basic lands, right? But yep, you can throw as many basic lands as you want. 
how many people are playing this? I mean, how many of you maniacs have enough to to do this? I mean, I, I don't know. I've got. Uh, I guess I haven't looked, but they're all over the like all five colors. I mean, I, I mean, it's like. <laughs> well, they, they definitely get janky. Um, I think some of them are two, th- three colors. I don't I think one guy's playing two colors. Um, but some of our best local meetups will have eight guys there, and I bet you five or six of them have a deck or have had a deck, but it might not be together at that moment. Now, is that the uh, is that the EC rule set, or how's that work with the 40? I believe it's Atlantic rule set. Okay. We tend to lean towards playing Atlantic. You got me curious. I remember seeing a post. I think it was actually on like Facebook's uh, media platform. And I remember like trying to search like Tat 240, revised Tat 240, and all this crazy shit. I could never find the post again. And I didn't know who posted it. So I'm really glad to hear it now. So it is on it is on our website, old order, old And it's just right up there as the top is Tat 240. It'll link you there. Perfect. But there's, we have all kinds of different tattooed cards in our collection, but not not all, not all of them are going to be legal. That's kind of the trickiest part. Um, prize cards and participation cards. That two forty right here at the top. Okay. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, I believe is um Andy Callahan's deck. They make I, deck photos. <laughs> I've wanted to make a deck of spice prizes, but I got a long way to go. Because they always give you like all these different colors. And you know, I guess he's got it here. He's got red, green, white, all over. But he's going you know, he to be pulled out of balance. He's got some decent stuff here. Yeah, he's five color. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was trying to figure out. Yeah, he's, he's got all five colors here. This is. How's this a deck? This is rough. <laughs> that it makes some some of the most interesting games, just different interaction you never thought was possible, um, just because you're playing a pile of jank. <laughs> so, all right. So maybe I'm breaking the mold by giving away like good playables in an event. Is that is that going to start warping this format if people are actually playing lightning bolts and stuff all of a sudden because they they went to the right event? We should continue to do the jank. I don't know. I mean, he doesn't <laughs> like your swords is not in here. I don't stay, see that. Like, is that not allowed? No, nope, that's allowed. Everybody at the event got one, so it was a participation card. Yeah. Right. So I mean, but if you got it because you bought it in the auction, that's not legal. Okay. All right. All right. That makes sense. Yeah, those things are a legend, though, man. I mean. Do you? I assume you're out of them. Is that the the yes, source yes, of the flash here? They all went on their way. Yep. Yeah, those things are so cool. I don't. Do you ever? Do you ever see if any people are like selling them or trading yeah, them? Or I mean, they pop up on the Discord and they're almost immediately gone. Yeah, I mean, I'd I have one. I'd love to get more. You were actually very cool about that because that that was actually I missed that first event. I forget why I couldn't make it to that one either, and. We had paid, and we had planned, and we couldn't go, and you sent us our prizes. Well, so. you, you you couldn't come, and you said, "Hey, just just you know, just keep the entry fee anyway." I was like, "Well, you you paid yeah. each for everything, so I'm going to send you the swag." Yeah, that was amazing. That was awesome. So, um, um, I think I gave Jeff Mangus five of them as like an artist artist proof. Artist proof, yeah. Yeah, so he can do whatever he wants with them. I think he got like a like a. 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, or something like that. And so you can reach out to him and see if he's got them <laughs> available. I've, I've sent people to him to see if they if he'd part with them. I know one guy bought one, and two other guys. <laughs> yeah, so he, I don't, he, know, he, I don't right. know what he's charging, but if you really want right, to. wants a mint for him, him. yeah. I'm no I, didn't, I didn't screw I, got, I didn't get four, uh, four of the Black Vice this year, so. Well, it's kind of funny, though, because I'm running them in uh, my Winter Derby deck, which is total trash and doing horrible. But I did swap them because I figured all the Swedish and European guys wouldn't know what the hell it was. So I took the deck photo with the cool art, but then I'm actually playing with the real uh, the real Black Vices in there. So I did I, this with 
in the winter derby, I'm playing vices as well. And I did play against a diehard Swedish guy. Um, and I played my glory con vices and he didn't bat an eye. He just, he just he was cool up. with it. Yeah. Yeah. I just started thinking, I'm like, I don't know if they're going to like this or not or whatever, but you see, where is, how are you doing in the, in the old, the old derby? Uh, one, three hot garbage. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm one three because my fourth opponent took his deck apart and conceded. <laughs> I definitely built my deck a little bit incorrectly. I did not do my mana sources correctly. So I've been screwing myself. Uh, mine is one of these decks that if you draw everything in the correct order, it's a pretty <laughs> cool deck. But that doesn't always happen. And then... I don't know. I have a very bad habit of everyone that plays me has like the best game of their life. I don't know. I just get that an awful lot. Like, wow, I've never had this much luck in my life. And it just like, I seem to do that to people, which I guess if that's my purpose in life is to share goodwill to the, towards others, then cool. Of course, uh, any 40 K soon, right? Yeah, I know. This is part of why I'm not excited. And this has been my whole history of magic. Like, I don't, I can't tell you how many like events I could have won. And when I get to the top two, I just blood out or never draw a land or whatever. Just it's the, I've never had a good, well, I probably have, but I mean, I've had more mis dismal final matches. Either I'm winning or it's just like they just run over me and I sideboard and then I just don't draw anything. <laughs> and they just run over me and I'm like, those were like, I, I it's just over and over. I probably have a half dozen or so second places where I could have won, but my deck just didn't come through for me. And that's just sort of how it goes. But I don't know. It, it doesn't bother me. It just, it is what it is. But um, yeah, I don't even know where the heck my deck photo is. I'm going to share it. But yeah, I'm running uh, Land Equilibrium with um, Drop of Honey and um, it cost you three to play. What the hell is it? Gosh. Losing it. Anyway, I kind of kind of lock people out. Um, Nether Void. So I get, yeah, so I'm running three Nether Void, four, four Land Equilibrium, Drop of Honey, and like all the power and stuff and it, it, it does pretty decent whenever you get it working but i mean i, I actually drew like 11 lands straight or something in a game i it's just it's just been awful i'm just like you gotta be kidding me got the guy to one and then listen like never drew anything the rest for like like 14 turns i'm like you got like you're at one life like any any <laughs> thing and just like no I don't, it's just been kind of that kind of derby but i'll be excited to get hang with my people so uh, i enjoy the second half of the derby more than the first half but all right yeah. man any parting words before we wrap it up i don't want to stay here too long no no you guys keep doing what you're doing this pod is awesome Just, i appreciate know, that yeah. drunk and bullshit and and spicy cards it's good <laughs> that's yeah i'm i'm deep on animate wall right now I'm thinking about having MG alter and animate wall with Pink Floyd, the walls, like face coming out of it, because I have that tattoo, and I don't have a lot of tattoos, and I feel like it'd be kind of perfect for that. So I'm playing a wall deck right now, which is, my mind is really good. It's a good wall deck. It's all walls, diamond valleys, and four earthquakes, because you're, you're always up on life, and you're drawing cards, and I'll be damned if it never wins, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> in my mind, in my my warped, demented skull, this is a hell of a deck. Like I've I've solved animate wall. And occasionally you get like two animate walls, just to animate your wall of swords or whatever, but freaking thing just gets close but doesn't win. That's that's where I'm at, but I've been tinkering around with that. Yep. <clears throat> Thanks for having me on. Appreciate the chats. Absolutely, man. Well, yeah, let's uh, yeah, take some notes on how it plays out because I'm kind of curious to hear what the you know some of the winners if they end up with a ton of uh, power or what actually wins the day or if it's some some guy with some jank and he just pulls some things off. Yeah, and uh, make sure you guys do a real good podcast on the uh, Battle for Ohio because 
Yeah, I'm sure we will. We'll 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 do one leading up and maybe one while we're there, maybe a recap even. Why not? We don't we've never actually hosted an event as much as much crap as we do. I think it's gonna be a good way to kind of test the waters for a, a bigger event for everyone. Well, whoever wins the battle for Ohio gets to choose the format and location for the next year. Yeah. So there's this, so if we win it's gonna be in freaking Cincinnati, so I don't have to drive so damn far. <laughs> Driving like three hours to get close to everyone else that's in Ohio, doing them a freaking favor. They better goddamn appreciate this. I'm I'm going out of my way to get close to everybody that's up there. You know? <laughs> so the assholes better appreciate it and lose, so I can don't have to go so far next time. <laughs> so you bring your bring, yeah, bring anti decks. <laughs> Yeah, you, 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 and Eric, and who's who's your other freaking part? Brandon, you guys suck. Brandon. You guys are the biggest man. <laughs> they're gonna be the damn Brobarians. They're like, uh, it's just, it's awful. I'm not gonna talk about it until it's over, but it just, it, it's, it's totally the right thing to do, and it's so annoying that you guys are just like the Spice Crew. So we got we got two teams of three. So I'm like, all right. Now that leaves me and the other guys to be the Spike crew, but I'm not I'm not very good at magic, so we're going to see. But I'm, I'm, the Spice crew will probably just show up and rock it. You guys are bringing uh, flags and shirts and all kinds of shit. <laughs> it's like, he's, he's going on and on about what I, like, holy hell, you guys are a level above us with the worst cards ever. So I don't know. It'll be a fun event. Prepared. Um, it's going to be glorious. Yeah, Michael probably moved to Ohio for next year. We'll see. He'll be. Yeah, that gets me. If that's what gets me a ticket, yeah, that might have to happen. <laughs> be an honorary member or something like that. All <laughs> right, guys. Well, we'll wrap it up. Appreciate your time, Mike, and uh, look forward to hearing about your event. Hope it's a big success. I'm sure it will be. Yep. Same with your event. Hope it, hope it runs well. Thanks. See you guys. Bye. See you guys. Bye. Range. That's definitely that's a sense. That's, nice. yeah, that's what I was thinking of. That's it. Yeah. I knew that there was some card with a bunch of damn reindeer on it. Dan, you can just tap the land to make a zero one. That card is sweet. Two. Two white. Tap. Yeah. yeah, dude. Sack of caribou gain a life. That's sweet for like a that's like a really bad breeding pit for like Lord of the Pit. Yeah, Lord of the Pit's Real hotness. It's won a lot of events lately. That's true. Yeah, dude. What are the pants? It's the meta, dude. <laughs> uh, definitely a deck you can make just like coal. Because I'm seeing a lot of sick red cards. You can incinerate. I'm yeah, sure. yeah. A lot of coal going on. Yeah, I'm just, it's just How hot as hell good? here, dude. A lot of bad guys around where I'm at. <laughs> Ball lightning you to the face. Get some coal. All right, that's the end. We made it to all 17 pages. I found. Oh, but eight. no, Zirin Enchanter I looking never, at the snow never globes. Saw Goblin Snowman. That's not all the Ice Age card. Yeah, we're looking the at snow globes. That is the weirdest art, man. Goblin Snowman. Was that Ice Age? Yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah. How did I miss that? I didn't even see it. Card's busted. Yeah, because he doesn't take damage when he's blocking because he's behind the snowman, get it? Yeah, that's, that's amazing, dude. I love how the snowman is sad. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen a sad snowman. <laughs> that is true. Goblins are happy. Two of them are. They're playing with snowballs. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate it. I think I'm going to hop off here. Call it a night. Later, everyone. We'll uh, work on this when I get home someday. All right. Yeah. Edit it to remove my address from that picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What'll well, be in the Teams meeting, Nick, if you want to edit it? I don't know. You have to throw cool. your intro in there then. Okay. Sweet. I've got a sponsor from Healing Sav. I didn't hear much about our sponsors from the last uh, video, so I guess. Um, that was just assumed that we'd eventually get sponsors as big as we are. So. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> I mean, so all right, guys, we'll see you around. If uh, anyone wants to put together a Christmas event, you're welcome to. I just don't know that I can make it, so I'm not going to say no. But, uh, yeah, December looks pretty booked. But early January, it'll still be snowy out, so we can do even something. If we, even if we don't have a Christmas event, we should all just go find some place and drink some beer one evening. And uh, I might come to your house and drink some beer and play empty with you one night. I can do that pretty easy, just like swing yeah. over. So, Let's do that. Let's you do live that. close to me. I, that's an easy thing to do. I'm down. But I don't see a bunch of us getting together and just drinking beer without playing some magic. So. Well, that's, what, that's what I mean. Bring your magic decks. We can play uh, play magic in a bar somewhere. That's why it's supposed to be done. Right? Sounds good. All right, All guys. Right. Well, I appreciate it. Hope Later everybody has a great week coming up. See you. Later, see ya. ladies. See you.